Hi everyone, I'm Any New Province, and I just finished up the league with Dawn Glare Tron. It was super fun to test out one of White's new removal spells. You can tap all of your opponent's creatures in whatever match you want by clicking on the timestamp in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy the league. Alright, we won the die roll. Let's play first. Let's glare some Dawns. Uh, I can't keep this. Although, we'll be okay with another land. Yeah, this is okay. It's not great, but it's fine. We got a couple of redraws. Got a lone missionary to buffer our life totals. We'll keep. Um, bottoming the third power plant. Play power plant. Pass the drink. <laughs> Opponent accidentally swung and won. They did. And we're playing Stompy again. Treat. <laughs> Let's play Stompy all night until I get it right. <laughs> Ooh, file your first report for harassment. That really sucks. Sorry about that. Yikes. I'm pretty lucky that I haven't run into that very much yet. Um, of course, I'm willing to admit. Yeah, man, there has been a lot of Stompy. Apparently, Mono White Heroic is what you should be running in the leagues today. Yeah. So this is three Stompy in a row. So we will play Stompy until we get it right. Hmm, I kind of want my opponent to attack with this so I can kill it before things get heated. Yeah, three of them back to back. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty aggro. Isn't Stompy supposed to be bad or something? Yeah, man. Stompy is terrible. <laughs> yep. So they're going to get in for four. Lovely. They're pretty good against us, for sure. As you guys have seen, apparently I'm incapable of beating Stompy. Um, Tranquil Cove. All of this is quite interesting. I don't feel compelled to take a lot more damage from this so i think i'm gonna run out lone missionary and uh probably kybera crossroads here for the extra life gain no i might as well run out tranquil cove um this way we can block this i know it disincentivizes them from attacking with the Quirion ranger which we eventually have to deal with but all right let's see what our opponent gets up to Yeah, yeah, you must have been like the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> people who have been people who are being beaten by Stompy and Boggles. Yeah, let's expect to see a lot of that today. <laughs> Here comes River Boa. Super thankful for this island in my hand right now. Alright, opponent, what do you got? You coming? You coming in caliente? I should probably reset the <laughs> reset the standings. Alright. Nope, no attacks. It's good news for us. Impulse, A. Eh? Yeah. I don't really want to play this island. <laughs> but, no, we can't get Tron online this turn anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter if we do this. We're pretty likely to find a Tron land this way. So let's try to find one. Powerful whiffs. Very powerful whiffs. Um, I think I'm going to get Coalition Honor Guard. I think Honor Guard is actually pretty good in this matchup, as opposed to Expedition Map. I know I sound crazy, but I'm going to get Honor Guard. It's a good card. We'll play it next turn, and hopefully just find Tron eventually. So we'll play Kabira Crossroads and pass the turn. Oh, yeah, what if yeah what if they were the straw that broke the camel's back? Exactly. That would be uh, That would be awful. Like truly, don't ever let them do that, man. You give me a call if that's ever if that ever happens. If that's going on, just like give me a shout. I got you. You know what? I guess playing an island, playing the island, isn't a huge deal against Boa here. But um, we are going to trade with a pump spell. This can get bought back eventually. And unkicked hunger would kind of suck. Oh, frick. Because <laughs> now Coalition Honor Guard can't block it and we can't kill it with sheer drop so that sucks but it happens all right so we'll take our beats we'll take four from that i guess maybe there was a reason to like wait until we could oh my god <laughs> until we could get honor guard on on board but yeah our opponent is just stomping their way to victory they shouldn't be able to get away with that what's the lore behind vines Hit me up. 
And as I predicted, Honor Guard, pretty good in this matchup. However, right now, looking fairly bunk. <laughs> uh, and I think we'll have to play an island as well. It might even just be Skyfisher Prism. Like, how many more pump spells could they have in their hand? <laughs> no, I, th I think I think we do have to play Honor Guard, as much as that pains me. And uh, and even commit this island, maybe. Hopefully they, they go a little bit too deep next turn, and, uh, and we're able to somehow sheer drop this. Maybe draw an untapped land to awaken it. Would be ideal. And various creatures into willing or unwilling slaves known as the vine bread. Ooh. Well, they definitely enslave me to the salt, for sure. Well, I gotta take eight here. I don't know why they wouldn't attack the river boa. Yep. Yep. And I think our creature, or they're gonna be able to untap their nettle sentinel. Not a smart play, playing additional islands to uh, into our opponent's river boas. They're really not into tapping this river boa when they're gonna tap out though. All right, our turn. So there's Lone Missionary. Um, I'm gonna Prism first. Although we are at nine and they have a big trampoly eight six over there, <laughs> and we will Lone Missionary, and we're gonna Skyfisher back the uh, the crossroads. Maybe even Skyfisher back the island. No, I, these being unblockable is actually kind of an issue. But we might be able to get them next turn. We might even just want to Skyfisher back a Prism, honestly. To have another look next turn. We're going to have six power on board. We trade our whole board with, uh, with a Nettle Sentinel. I guess we can. We can kind of do that a little bit fearlessly because they won't have their... I am going to return this. They won't have their pump spells online because of coalition honor guard but then at the same time if we lose honor guard then that's probably game as well because we can't really get them in the lock if you know what i mean all right so an attack like that sure so we'll go to blocks and we'll block block so if they <sighs> yeah kicked vines doesn't kill us so if they save these then we can sheer drop this with awaken next turn yep Oh, I guess I can return a land and cast a one drop. Yep, yep. All that happens. We go to five. And they're probably going to untap Nettle Sentinel, actually. I'd assume they're just going to pass. Okay. They can do it on our turn as well. Or no, they can't because of Honor Guard. <sighs> Gang, hold. <laughs> Oh, we can't. I don't. I feel like I can't play the island to give these unblockable. Like this is so sketchy. One, two, three, four, five. We only have five mana. I kind of just like don't want to kick this, or don't want to awaken. I guess we can awaken the island, <laughs> and then eventually block with it. Killing this is probably important, but then they're going to just put something on one of these. We have Invoker, and we we have six mana. We got to find Tron before that matters, though. Oy. Yeah, I'm going to have to kill it, but I don't... They can just get in for four next turn if we play the island, and then, you know, we're dead the following turn. So I think I'm not going to kick it. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm not going to play the... I'm not going to play the island. I have Flag Bear. What about it? No, I know I can kill this. But they're going to get in for four every turn after that. If I play the island to kick it. So it's just like too awkward. And we can't even commit Invoker here. So that kind of sucks. We're going to leave all our stuff back. We won't give our opponent any opportunities to get any good attacks in. And we're pretty close to locking them out. I mean, they might have a fight card here or something. Ledge Walker, okay. That's kind of an issue, but it's only one damage a turn. We can survive one. No, actually, and this can block it. Yeah, so we might be okay. Can't regenerate properly, so they're going to pass. We find Serrated Arrows. Dece. All right, so we'll play Serrated Arrows, and we'll get rid of the River Bows first. 
Um, I think we're going to wait. Yeah, we'll pass. Still not going to play the island here. <laughs> as bizarre as that sounds, I'm still not playing the island. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. So there, there's no way that a fight card can take care of it. We're just hoping we find Tron, guys. Yeah, arrows are coming in for some help here. And I really wouldn't mind picking them up at some point. Pretty close to locking them down. Three mana. And they scoop it up. Sweet. Not bad. All right. Arrows look pretty good there. So we'll put in another Honor Guard. I guess Sheer Drop is actually... Like, Sheer Drop and Take Vengeance are actually sort of bad against Quirion Ranger. So I'm actually going to drop a couple of them here. Sheer Drop might even be better than the... Another Take Vengeance. I know it's supposed to be the Take Vengeance deck, but I'm not super happy with having all of them. And maybe we take out a Drifter for an Oblivion Ring and just be real controlling. I might even want to take out another Take Vengeance for an Oblivion Ring. And we'll try it like that. <laughs> so let it be known that I've tried <laughs> to be Quirion Ranger with Take Vengeance, but... The one mana elf that also serves as ramp wins that fight every time. All right, so we're up game one at least. And we're pretty close to Tron. So I'm going to keep this. Impulse should get us there. If we find the lock, then we lock him out. No turn one, Queer and Ranger. Nice. Kind of awkward leading on Tranquil Cove when it's you're on the Tron plan, but I want to be able to impulse. So we're going to do this. Pass the turn. And we're uber slow, so we gotta hope we gotta hope for the best here. Opponent gonna play uh, forest, and what have you now? If you have, so if you have, if they're an uninteractive deck, that is, it's not like a hard lock, pretty soft lock. But if they, if you have coalition honor guard and dawn glare invoker on the battlefield, usually your opponent can't remove the invoker, and you just tap all of their creatures for the rest of their game. Because they can't, like, target anything with Quirion Ranger, and they can't do any, like, fancy shenanigans like that. So pretty much against anything but black decks, um, that'll get you there. Alright, let's play Tower, and we're going to Impulse on their end step. Awful lot. <laughs> An awful lot of power over there. Of course, ideally we find Tron here, and maybe we get to Sheer Drop something in a couple turns. But Boggled Up Solana Ledgewalker... Pretty awkward as well. Hey, what's up, Lynx? How you doing? Get in there, man. No worries. Welcome. How you doing tonight? We've played Stompy three times in a row. I had to start over because I played like a dummy. Um, but uh, yeah, so we played Stompy a bunch of times. And... Ooh. Okay. All right. We'll take Power Plant. And turn comes back. There's a Sky Fisher. Oh man, we might not be fast enough here. So we'll play Power Plant. And we're going to try to Sheer Drop this, uh, this BT. So that we're only taking 5 next turn. Um, putting us down to 7. So then we can play Honor Guard and probably reasonably take one more shot. I hope they don't have Unkicked Vines here. That's pretty raw. Pretty raw deal if they do. But, of course, they may. Yeah, Tron will be online here shortly. Oh my goodness. Does this just mean we're dead? Eight? And then Kicked Vines kills us? Come on, Stompy. <laughs> Quit it. Committing all your pump spells. Yep. Before we can, uh, before we have the chance to play anything that matters. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Snoppy's got the turn three kill. Woof. All right. Or turn four kill, I guess. So that didn't work out. Um, and maybe Take Vengeance is better than a copy of Arrows. It's just a little bit faster. And even, like, Impulse felt pretty slow there. But you got to do what you got to do, gang. <laughs> Too slow. All right. Let's not play five matches against Snoppy tonight, though. For real. <laughs> Ah, not too bad. A little similar to last game, but we're on the play this time. I'm going to keep. 
Um, Custody Squire would go a lot better with an expedition map. So let's see if we can't find one of those. I think it's close on that. Like once you're, we were in that kind of top deck war for a minute. And I think once you're at that point, you kind of have to, like you have to turn it around really quickly. So you need the evasive attackers. Well, I guess if you get the lock on them, you don't, your attackers don't really need evasion, but <laughs> so maybe you're right. <gasps> Guys, we got the natural. We got the natural. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, let's find a Donglair Invoker and just win so fast. <laughs> Look at us being Tron players. I know, right? There's a Ledge Walker. All right, pretty bad against our targeted removal for sure. Can't sheer drop that now. Um, let's get Tron going. I kind of want to play map and crack map this turn, but I think. I think Prophetic Prism is fine here before we're going to do that. I'm not playing Custody Squire until we can get some value out of it. That's going to be really important in this matchup. All right, well, <laughs> that can also happen. Um, yeah, so we'll play map. And we're going to go to Cycling Land with it, I believe. Um, although we might just want another tower. I'm going to get another Tron line with this one, and then we'll play Expedition Map, and uh, and we'll think about doing that next turn. Especially if we can get it back with Custody Squire. Oh yeah, it does. It feels great to be on this side of Tron. <laughs> so we'll see if it's good enough. Of course, we're going to have to go find... Um, we're going to have to find a Donglair Invoker before they find their Quirion Rangers. But they're only attacking for one a turn, so I don't feel super afraid yet. There's Take Vengeance, which doesn't really do anything here. Um, so let's play Tron Land. And I think just Custody Squire. I guess we might as well cycle first. So let's, let's go get a Cycling Land. And I chose the White Land because it costs less mana and we're more restricted on mana when we're... Uh, when we're like quote unquote comboing off, but that might have been the wrong choice in retrospect. So we're gonna cycle secluded step. And there's a lone missionary. That's not awful. But I think Custody Squire is just such a good blocker here that I really want it down. So let's play Custody Squire. And get back map, we'll replay map, and then we'll pass the turn. <laughs> wow you <laughs> get back map yep and we'll probably want to get just like life gain lands from here on in we've got plenty of mana if we do eventually assemble the lock get back map replay map and we'll pass so now we got a blocker for their ledge walker for what that's worth and we can we have a basic planes that we can kind of reassemble. How democratic! <laughs> yeah, they clicked the right map. <laughs> How democratic! Much voting. <laughs> it's funny because they're the same card. <laughs> yeah, I've said it a lot of times. I should probably stop saying that so many times. Hunger once, okay. Yup, Epic Confrontation, okay. Well, I'm glad it was on this and not something that matters a little bit more, I guess. Oh god, <laughs> it matters now. <laughs> Look at all this awkward targeted removal. Drifter, all right. So let's let's drift away. Let's uh, let's get some Uncle Cracker in our in our lives here. So we'll cast Mull Drifter. Draw a couple cards. <laughs> it kind of is. Um, yeah, and so we'll play Kabira Crossroads here. And run out Lone Missionary to gain some life. And we'll plan to sack this, just going to get our fourth gain land, I imagine. I don't think there's any reason to attack their graveyard from here. So our opponent has two cards in hand. 
one out of ten. <laughs> the Uncle Cracker Crimson? I'm all about that Uncle Cracker value, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, I think I think it's okay to take five here. I think it's okay to take nine here off of a kicked vines. So we're gonna leave Drifty Boy back so that we can do something about this ledge walker. And sacking map here, even just for the benefit of thinning, isn't too bad. Donglayer off the top would be pretty rad, but they could have they could have Quirion Ranger and they're just sandbagging it. It it's brutal that I have all of this uh, all of this targeted removal in my hand, and they're playing just a bunch of ledge walkers. But that's what Snoppy going to do. Oh man, well there it is, there you have it. So we'll play out Invoker, and then we'll play out Crossroads. They might have another fight card. But it'll fog for a turn, and then if we find Custody Squire, we should be in all right shape. So I'm going to attack with Muldrifter here. I know it sounds crazy. Mm, they shouldn't be able to remove this instant speed. So I'm going to attack with Muldrifter. No, and then again. Then again. Well, if they use their kicked vines here, then so be it. So we'll attack with Muldrifter. And no dice for blocks on our opponent's side. All right, what you going to do, opponent? Confront me epically. Yeah, no, that that name is super weird. I feel like they're just a little late on the uh, on the naming convention. <laughs> like, I think that's more of a, a Wu Tang Clan kind of thing, and less of a you know pop country artist type thing. <laughs> so we'll tap their creatures. Yeah, it is. It's like your creepy uncle, right? It is. It is creepy. Oh my god, deck, please stop with the lands. Please. Uh, <laughs> we'll play Tranquil Cove. Is it almost time to sheer drop our own loan missionary to get a creature? <laughs> You're one ranger away. I think it's good that we didn't really show them much of this, because they might have their... Uh... <laughs> I was going to use those. Um... I, maybe we didn't show them this, so they didn't bring in their scattershot, scattershot archers, which is pretty good. We do need a flag bearer to close it up, but we're in pretty good shape, right? Like, we're still attacking for six every turn. So even if they do find their uh, their flag bearer, they still have to do something about our board. Tap your guys. Turn comes back. Ugh. <laughs> is that an Uncle Cracker lyric? <laughs> Uncle Cracker, you dog. <laughs> we'll play a tap land. We'll go to combat. <laughs> We've drawn a bunch of lands this game, but things things went all right. We found the invoker on time. And even though our opponent had creatures to hose us, <laughs> we might have them. Oh, they they keep the rangers in the board. All right, I think our opponent GG'd, so I don't know if they're going to scoop. Oh, we did it. Okay, sweet. <laughs> so we'll play Urza's Mind, play Expedition Map, and pass turn. Yeah, I'm glad we won a match, too. That was getting bumpy there for a second. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I wonder what I did to offend uh, hashtag bad boy swag. They won't send me a list. We'll see if they're on Green Black Morbid. They're not. Is this Mono White Heroic? It is. Okay, I feel like this is a pretty good matchup. So we'll pass back to ourselves. And especially where they have to give them pro white to get around our removal and stuff. We're just looking for a white source now. Because if we can get Honor Guard down early, we should be in pretty good shape. Yeah. Drop Prism off the top. Clutch. <laughs> Clutch advice, Lynx. Thank you. <laughs> I agree. Um, and now we have to make an awkward decision as to whether we want to rush to Tron or not. Pretty awkward. Indeed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of people might have asked them for the list already. The deck is pretty wang. I did poorly with it. We'll give them a GLHF. I just want them to know that, you know, they have a friend in me. This is, I want mine and hashtag bad boy swags relationship to go very similar to, 
um, to Toy Story, really, you know, deep down. Um, so we have to go get a White Source. Eventually, we'll play Custody Squire, and then uh, we'll be able to get Map back and assemble Tron. This this hand isn't really contingent on Tron to function, so I'm kind of okay with that happening. Um, I really want to get this Honor Guard down in time, and I want an opportunity to kill this Death Blade Elite, like, right now. So I'm going to do that. We'll go get... I know it's tempting, I know it's tempting, but I'm going to go get Planes. And turn comes back to us. This shouldn't be a big issue. I, I don't know how much they can do to this in one turn. <laughs> no, it's specifically not Sid, guys. Oh, deck! <laughs> Why you gotta punish me like that, bud? <laughs> oh, frig. Okay, so... <laughs> we shuffled, we shuffled, okay? We shuffled. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take vengeance upon the deft blade elite and uh, and hope there a crow and sky guard doesn't get too out of hand next turn <laughs> being greedy is always the answer <laughs> um if we have to go a little bit more slowly this impulse might help us find um the rest of tron yeah <laughs> A millions of pop for aficionados. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they think I've got like a big ego about it or something like that. I'm pretty self-aware about how much I lose. <laughs> yeah, no, it was obviously we're going to top deck it. Yeah, because Tron always <laughs> has it. Well, if things if things go perfectly, we'll uh, we'll find another one right away. So I don't know if maybe they're going to leave up protection. And like I said before, protection from white is uh, is obviously better news for us. And once we get Honor Guard down, then we'll feel a lot safer doing something about this. I can't remember. If I played this deck last night. Like, is there main? I don't think there's main deck answers to Honor Guard. Yeah. So we still do. We still have to do something about this. Um it's huge, right? Like, <laughs> this is a completely not trivially sized Skyguard. <laughs> um, Crossroads, not going to help yet. Um, we're going to play mine, and we'll play Flagbearer. Cartouche and Emerge, right. So they could have a bunch of... Oh, and they have Chimanos, that's true. They're going to dump some protection here in the meantime. And we're just going to pass the turn. Yeah, this thing's going to be big, man. Dear God, main deck. <laughs> it's my favorite boy. I like Coalition Honor Guard a lot. Oh, Fluffy. <laughs> People out of combat, this, this is the deck for me. We're going to get him. Except for the distinct, yeah. Well, it's decidedly not our list from last night. No, it's not. We've We've arrived. Yeah, no, double cleave. Double cleave ain't gonna do it. Unless they can Shimano is this, which they very well may. But they only have two cards in hand. They do have a 5-5 five, five flyer over there. Um gonna be they're gonna be a contentious point for a minute. <laughs> and it's gonna get in. Alright. Of course, emerge unscathed. Um just still very bad for us if they can resolve it. Um, and we'd love to just assemble Tron next turn. Oh, wait. <laughs> Thanks, Fluffy. <laughs> Thanks for helping me with the record there. Oh, man. Yeah, just top deck and Tron like a boss. Um... Alright, so we'll play a land, and we're going to Custody Squire back our um, expedition map here. I think we're going to want to block this next turn. Alright, pass the turn. No attacking from Honor Guard. I'd hate to know what awful thing could happen <laughs> with this warrior token. They're going to attack. And yeah, there's no real chance for us to uh, to trade up with this at any point, even if they have answers to this. Which creates some awkward pro-white stuff. All right. Opponent's going to pass it back to us. Impulse. Okay, so I think the plan is to... Just crack map here and uh, and get an impulse going. So we're going to play map. We're going to crack it with the planes. 
I'm Maddie Matheson. I couldn't ever do. Maddie Matheson is has the most unique voice on the planet. IMO. All right, so we'll play Tronland. We'll play a Prophetic Prism, and we're gonna get one look at a uh, at something that matters here. Take Vengeance. That definitely matters. All right, so try to take vengeance on this Akron Skyguard for all the awful things that it has done to us. Maybe it'll get to emerge unscathed. It does not. All right, gang. All right. All right. Hold. Hold. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> and they got another Sky Guard. Could be an issue. Emerge unscathed is a card. <laughs> no, it was God's willing that time. Um, and I do think we're going to impulse um, right away, depending on what we draw. Yeah, so let's impulse. And let's get an invoker down and just uh, just say it's all over. Um, this is kind of tough. I kind of want to take Drifter here over Skyfisher, but Skyfisher draws one card right away and commits a blocker for Skyguard right away. Um, taps our Prismatic Strands eventually when that matters, and it's a 2-3, so I think Skyfisher is actually just more important here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll get Skyfisher. It'll give us another look at Invoker. So we'll tap like this, play Skyfisher. Yeah. It does have really nice artwork. Beautiful. Look at those chiseled abs. That's what perfection looks like, gang. And it also gets us another colored source right away so we can impulse again. So we'll replay Prophetic Prism, see what we get to look at off the top. We need that Invoker. Tranquil Cove. Well, I'm still happy to be able to cast that this turn, but we're going to impulse first, of course. We might actually just want to. Now we'll probably we'll probably Tranquil Cove almost regardless. Muldrifter is an amazing card. Mm, is it time for the other Honor Guard? That's what I'm wondering. I think it probably is. Skyfisher gets us gets another look, I guess. But, uh, but if they draw Chomanos, things could go pretty badly for us. So let's let's get Honor Guard here. It's not a great value play, but we'll play Tranquil Cove, gain some life, and pass the turn. Yeah, we're just we're waiting on Donglair here. If you believe enough. I think Seth's played it a non-zero number of times. <laughs> Alright, let's see if they found the answer. One turn with this bad boy can be uh, can be an issue. Our opponent's just flooding out. Blue XX gonna prefer Snapcaster. Yeah, Snapcaster is really interesting. Like that, I used to listen to limited resources just like religiously, and uh, you know, like they they talk about that a lot. Like, is drawing two random cards off the top of your library better than drawing? Um, drawing the best spell in your graveyard. No, I think we're going to need Invoker. I can attack with Scor Core Skyfisher this turn, but well, we're still at 11, honestly. And two Emerge Unscathed still looks really bad on us here. We have Strands in hand. I, I think I'm okay playing it safe for the moment. Why not both? <laughs> oh, you didn't mean to say Skyfisher there. <laughs> I'd like Invoker just to just to play it ultra safe here. Of course, we might not have enough time to do that. But just just so that if they do find a way to boggle these bad boys up. We could also draw serrated arrows. Clutch. Alright, so we'll play serrated arrows. Um we're gonna tap it right away. Get rid of one of these sky guards. And uh and then we'll pass the turn. Eventually this will wrath their board. They could have Apostles Blessing or something. And they scoop it up. Okay. So I think arrows is good enough. Um, arrows might not be good enough. We're gonna bring in another honor guard, and I wouldn't mind having a seal of removal here. We might want patrician scorn, but I feel like they're gonna go down enchantments because decks like this usually play, um, or my deck decks like my deck usually play certain things to deal with enchantments. What's up, rip? Is that like the sound? Is that the sound of the like zipping up your fly awkwardly? It's like oh, my flies down, and you like bring it in. Uh, yeah, so I think seal seal will be good here for sure. And most of our removal, I think, is good. I'm trying to think of what's bad, what we potentially don't need. Like Muldrifter might just be too slow, at least for that many. 
Strands is probably okay. I don't think we want to tap six to try to sheer drop something. But I'm okay having kind of unconditional removal throughout the game. Should we bring in some enchantment hate? Like, is that something that we should be thinking about, even over the arrows? Because once stuff is kind of out of arrows range, it doesn't really matter, right? In that case, when we have, you know, a Coalition Honor Guard on board, it looks pretty good, but... Oh, man. Good luck, Wham Samuel. Get a good sleep, man. Get a good sleep. Try to get over Try to get over that, that six-hour mark if you can. I appreciate you staying. I appreciate you staying, but I'm kind of on this... Kind of on this evangelistic kind of... Uh, that's probably not the right word for it. I'm kind of on this kick of trying to get more sleep um yeah i'm not in i'm not super into arrows either i guess it was important there patrician scorn might be good um what are we thinking about cartouche ethereal armor and yeah I, o ring's probably better i agree i totally agree because like ethereal armor is all we're really worried about there this will take care of it this will take care of a hyena umbra which we can eventually bounce the sky fisher to get this back do the thing uh, I think this is okay. I'm going to submit. We'll uh, we'll see if we can't do anything about locking them out of the game proper. Like, we did get to, we did get to do the lock once, so I got to be happy about that. All right, opponent, what do you got? I don't like this card. I, I can hardly ever see myself sideboarding it in. Journey is a card I'm worried about most when playing heroic, so I imagine O Ring is good. Think we get another one in there? Maybe take out, I guess, Lone Missionary's a little anemic. Maybe we could do that next time. All right. Got there. <laughs> we'll keep and uh, and hope they're not ultra fast. We all are well aware how fast this deck can go. So they'll play a Deathblade Elite and pass. There's a White Source for later if we need it. So we'll lead on tower, play map, pass the turn. And we're going to assemble Tron next turn. It doesn't really tap things down until we win. That's kind of true, but like our opponent like taps their own creatures, right? Like it's just, it's a function of how you play the game. So it's not a dead card throughout, but I really wanted to like drive that point home. And against against decks like elves, like once you get the lock set up against elves, you can use it to uh to kill their um whatchamacallits, kill their God. <laughs> their well wishers and stuff. Because well wishers actually matter. We like can't feasibly get around them. But I guess Journey to Nowhere serves the same purpose, if that's the case. Dang it. Alright, so they're gonna get a hyena umbra. Yeah, but it, that, that is kind of an awkward interaction. And that's, a, that's you know, that's kind of what this series is about, too, is that, like, is Take Vengeance good enough if you're just targeting creatures with it um, while while they've already attacked? You know what I mean? Know what I mean, Vern? You out there, Vern? Shouts out to Vern. <laughs> Another Skyguard. Okay. So let's assemble Tron, get a Flying Blocker down. Um, We need Power Plant. Take power plant, turn comes back. Two cards in our opponent's hand. This is only a 3-3. That's a good sign. Lone missionary. Not unhappy to have that. Alright. So let's play power plant. And prophetic prism. I guess we might as well cantrip twice. We could find invoker, and I wouldn't mind committing invoker. That's pretty good. Um, kind of straight away. So I'm going to play another Prism here before I play the first Skyfisher, because you can't commit two with what we've got. All right, so let's play our first Skyfisher, pick up a Prism, and do the thing. Play some birds, draw some cards. Oh, me too. Oh my goodness, I had that. That was in my brain, my blood, my body. Felt all that anxiety. <laughs> Especially where I had those two just, like, glorious punts <laughs> earlier, you know? Like... I think we're going to have to take three off this Sky Guard. Which I don't like, of course. They're going to cycle Secluded Step. Okay. Maybe they're trying to find a way for Deathblade Elite to, uh, to falter Skyfisher appropriately. Next turn's going to be weird. <laughs> Next turn's going to be really weird. All right, opponent, come on with you. 
Show me what that hashtag bad boy swag is all about. This is a good deck. Saw it function quite well last night. Quite, quite well. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I should make up characters for my various stream endeavors. <laughs> Just gonna attack with the 3-3 three, three Skyguard. Well, isn't that just suspect? We won't block. Who knows? Maybe they have two mutagenic growths and a double cleave. Maybe I'm dead. <laughs> All right. How many mutagenic growths, opponent? How many? None. Well, that's good news for me. <laughs> time to scream at Watsy for being stupid? Yeah, about time. All right, so let's gain a bunch of life. Um, and I want to start looping this lone missionary with my skyfishers, so we'll play... Uh, I suppose we should do it just that way. So we'll play... Hmm. You know what? Maybe it's important for us to find... Well, no, I guess while this is on the battlefield. It's probably not that important to find our... lock pieces. So we'll do this. And play Prophetic Prism... We have untapped white source, which is kind of nice. And mull drifter. So let's play Skyfisher. We'll pick up Lone Missionary. And play our untapped white source. Replay Lone Missionary. And pass the turn. Is this the next minute? <laughs> next minute? What do you mean? <laughs> And we really don't want Lone Missionary going down the drain here, so hopefully our opponent doesn't have a good Deathblade Elite draw. Um, we are going to have to block with Skyfisher here. I feel like with three cards in hand and that much mana, it's uh, we might be in chump block mode, and we can commit another flyer to block next turn, so losing one in combat here isn't a big deal. Do we double block, though? Any spell gets us if we double block. How many spells do they have to cast to kill us? one mutagenic growth and another double cleave so their hand has to be mutagenic growth and we don't block oh it has first strike true so do we block what do you guys think <laughs> oh time to yell at watsy yeah no that's just like a casual um common thing that happens they pretty obviously have yeah i think we chump too yeah chump chumpsies And our opponent has their mana to do with what they will this turn. Of course, we're looking for Oblivion Ring or something, some such card. There's Seeker. So they could have Emerge Unscathed or something here, which would really suck. Seal of Removal. A. Okay. Sequencing Intensifies. So let's get some Uncle Cracker up in here. Let's drift away. Can we get an amen? <laughs> um, and the, we can fade the first protection spell. That's pretty great, too. Tron land, prismatic strands. You can't really argue with that. That feels pretty lucky. Um, but I'm still debating whether I should just bounce on missionary again this turn. I don't know. Or if I should, like, commit it. If I should just try to seal this now. Because they might have a merge unscathed. Um, at which point we can just still play Skyfisher. Um... Tron land and play another like recast lone missionary again so i think i think i am actually going to try to seal it now and of course we can buy back seal with uh we can buy back seal kiss from a rose on a grave all right so let's see if they've got it we want to do it on our turn so that they can't benefit from any protection and if they got pro blue they got pro blue Sure. All right, so there's the Emerge on Skate. That's going to be a pretty big boy there next turn. Bounce Drifter with uh, with Core Skyfisher. That's a bold move. Yep. So it has Pro Blue now. Unfortunately, we don't have any of our backup. Granted, this turn, we might just want a Prismatic Strands. Um, so I might just play out Mine here. I know that sounds weird. Um, hmm, 
We should be able to block it. We might not be able to unless we have a fire. All right, so I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play mine anyway, and we'll skyfisher. No, I think I'm just gonna cycle with that. Uh, cycle with core skyfisher this turn because that way we have. That way we definitely have enough blockers, and we get to dig a little bit deeper. And I don't think we're dead next turn, so I don't think it's time to. Uh, I don't think it's time to strands yet. They only have one card in hand. It's pretty unlikely that we're dead here. Here comes a merge unscathed. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they could give it... I don't think they can do that. They can give it protection from two colors and give it double strike. They would have to top deck. And then next turn, we can start stranding. I mean, it would just be awesome if we could find <laughs> our, uh, our invoker. But this is kind of an issue with that. Without... Uh, Without Honor Guard, of course. Custody Squire is a pretty good draw next turn. Hey, what's up? Ten can say? Ten can say? Len can say. How you doing? So they're thinking about what they want to give a protection from. Which is uh, a decent consideration, or even maybe even what they want to target. Yeah. Cool. Sure. Because Pro White is not ideal for them, obviously. And maybe they will give it pro-white. Maybe it's time. Get rid of this Umbra. No, pro-blue. Okay, they don't want us chumping with drifters. So opponent's going to go to combat. We'll see how all this plays out. Just going to attack with Skyguard. Okay. I can get behind that. So I am a little nervous about another double cleave here. Um, seeing double cleave that early on definitely got me on the back foot. So we're going to block with Skyfisher here. We should have an okay turn next turn, especially with uh, with Prismatic Strands. Hanging on to Prismatic Strands. And uh, yeah, I guess we just gotta hope they didn't... Oh, Standard Bear, huh? Okay. <laughs> so there goes our Take Vengeance plan. It's a little weird. More mana. Alright, so let's Impulse first and foremost. We need Honor Guard and Invoker to really get things moving here. I hope I don't bottom a bunch of them. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> Custody Squire is not bad, because Custody Squire can buy back Seal, and who knows? Who knows? Maybe they... Oh, no. Seal would target this. So never mind. So that doesn't really matter. Oh, but Take Vengeance can only target a tapped creature, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So let's take Take Vengeance. Let's take Vengeance. <laughs> um, And I guess we'll try to take Vengeance the... Uh, the old bad boy here. Skyguard. It's going to get rid of the Umbra. At least. Take rid of, get rid of its first strike. And I'm going to play a tap land here. <laughs> That's right. Another tiny edge in favor of Take Vengeance. Doesn't have to target your standard bearer. Which they'll now have to suicide into our board if they want to uh, get the advantage from it. So, our opponent has one card in hand. And we'll see how they attack. I wonder what that one card is. Starting to believe it's not double cleave. Yep. Okay, so because we have strands up, I'm not going to block here. Going to 12 really isn't a big deal. So I would have strands in response to something that mattered. Oh my god, deck, please. <laughs> please, deck. <laughs> We're going to need more than lands to win this one, bud. <laughs> All right, so we'll pass the turn. Not going to be... Oh, deck. I really needed that one guy. <laughs> Not going to be stranding until it's uh, it's crucial here. FD dub. It's a little brutal that... Uh, even Invoker doesn't do anything, but, like... Oh, no, I guess we can. So it won't have to block this because we can just tap in their upkeep. Or at the beginning of their combat step. So Invoker is actually a pretty big game. All right, they're going to Cartouche up the other Skyguard, just in case we do find a way to bounce it. So we are going to need... We're going to need that Invoker kind of straight away here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And maybe they're holding removal for it? I don't know. 
I don't know what they could have in hand, especially where they didn't protect it from Take Vengeance. I guess Take Vengeance and Pro White is the same as um, knocking off the aura anyway. So see what this attack looks like. All right, gonna attack with everything. So chump blocks don't look good at all here, so we're going to have to start stranding. Unfortunately. Yep. Opponent will provoke. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, provokes a sky fisher. And getting this off the battlefield isn't super relevant, I guess. So we'll go to blocks. We'll block like this. Um, I guess we could double block Seeker and think about... No. I think we have to strands. We can't lose... We can't lose... Uh, we can't lose our white creatures. All right, so we'll do this. Don't forget to murder things with moles. Yep, they're going to activate that. Sure. And we get priority back, so we're going to Prismatic Strands on white. One card in our opponent's hand still. Questionable what it might be. Really need that Dongler Invoker. <laughs> okay. And I'll put a stop on their upkeep just don't, so I don't forget to do it. Oh, deck. <laughs> Please. <laughs> this is not okay. This is not okay, deck. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. We need better we need better ways to deal with this. <laughs> All right, opponent's turn. Another impulse would be fine. One of our destroy tap creature spells. Not super good here. Yep, here they come. Mm hmm. Gonna provoke. We haven't put any honor guards or um, custody squires on the bottom yet. I think we might take it this time where they're not attacking with Seeker. Don't know what they might have in hand. Yeah, I think I think I'm okay taking eight here. Yep. Popper scrub. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Dex just wants to make sure we can invoke her three times in a single turn. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we're going to I think we're gonna try to take eight here. Go to five. Hold on to that other prismatic strands activation. Two cards in our opponent's hand. Yikes. All right, they pass it back. Prism, that's a redraw. Come on, deck. Come on. One time, deck. One time, deck. Come on. Uh, that's not really what we're looking for. But, <laughs> but it's another turn. It's another turn. Isn't it? It's another turn, guys. We might be all right. <laughs> Gain some life, pass the turn. Oh yeah, we could attack. We could have attacked with Moldrifter there. That's true. Alright, so opponent's gonna get in for Exaxes. Um, we'll offer up the trade with Moldrifter, or offer up the uh hmm. Let's Um Yeah, I think we're going to offer the chump with Moldrifter. I guess I can give something pro-white and win that way. So we're actually going to chump with Skyfisher here. Okay, so it goes through. We're going to take three down to three. Yep. First strike damage resolves. We are thoroughly at three. And it'd be lovely. Oh, it's another strands. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, we're going to attack with Moldrifter. We missed out on two points of damage there. So we're going to attack with Moldrifter. And we might as well F... Oh, I forgot to play Tron line. Okay. We're running out of time. I think time might be one of the ways we could win this. Yep. Opponent's going to go to attacks. We're probably going to have to strands here. 
we will have to strands here. I'm going to leave back a blocker, just attack for lethal. Yep, go through to blocks, no blocks. I gotta focus here for a second, guys. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to serious time. <laughs> Pro white. F six. And another death blade elite. Two cards in my opponent's hand. Come on, <laughs> come on, Don Glare. Dang it. Okay, well that's a redraw. So let's play expedition map. Oh yeah, they definitely aren't gonna like me after this. Sack expedition map. I almost hit, clicked concede game there. Um, get secluded step and cycle secluded step. Come on. Invoker. <laughs> this is too much tension deck. Please. Tranquil go. <laughs> no. God. <laughs> okay, pass the turn. Series mode equals more engaged, yeah. Maybe I should, yeah, I should just pay attention to the game for a sec. <laughs> Things are going awkwardly. Yep. All right, so we'll go to blocks, offer the block with Mole Drifter. Yep, yep. Mole Drifter dies, we're at four. Everything is swell with the world. And Seeker, yep. No worries. What do we draw? Map, come on, deck. <laughs> deck, please. Please, you were just, you've been shipping me lands all game. Could we please not do this? <laughs> we're going to get Kabira Crossroads. <laughs> Play Kabira Crossroads. Deck has absolutely, literally zero chill, man. And now we have to fog every turn. <sighs> okay, so opponent goes to attacks. Swings, swings. Swing, swing, swing. You guys ever hear that one? <laughs> Shouldn't have put lands in your deck if you didn't want to draw them. Good point, man. <laughs> good, 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 good point. This is match two? Like, what's going on? <laughs> this has been the longest mono weight heroic match I've ever played, I think. Opponent gonna very slowly assign all their attackers. And there's no there's really no mystery here. So we'll uh we'll flash back prismatic strands as soon as they pass priority back. Yep. And then F6. Did I auto yield to these? What's going on here? It was not a quick game. <laughs> I wouldn't imagine. All right, so we're going to flashback strands. We will tap honor guard just to prevent any kind of odd having to block stuff on white and F6. We only got a couple more turns to get out of this gang. <laughs> We've got two impulses and that's it. So two impulses to help us dig, but yeah, that's it. Mana tithe, get him. <laughs> With all of this mana. Deck, please. Deck! <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So over half of our lands in our hand. I feel like we haven't cast that many spells this game. <laughs> What's up, Wazer Pearlman? How you doing? What's up, Ben? My boy, Ben. How you doing? Whoa! Thank you very much for the sub loose vowel movement. I appreciate that. Welcome. Been hanging out for a minute, huh? How you doing tonight? Yep. Bunch of triggers on the stack. Yeah, that's true. I probably have seen a pretty fair amount of lands, honestly. But I feel like I've... I still feel like I've resolved very few spells. Flashback. White. Yep. Now we're going to have to block a death plate elite or something. Mm -hmm. Go to blocks. I'm doing all right. This is only match two. We're getting on with the evening here. <laughs> so it might be a really late one today. But uh, yeah, you're drawing the spells out of the deck. Yeah, there's no spells left. Stop beating on the deck and drawing spells out of it. Come on, deck. 
<laughs> Alright, we're dead. <laughs> we're just dead, guys. <laughs> and I still have two in hand. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we've gotten a little bit unlucky with the lands here, guys. Uh congrats on your 6-0, that's awesome. Like Don Gar Don Glare Plus. <laughs> If it's the top card on my deck, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> yeah, opponent gets in with all the stuff. <laughs> Let's peek. Let's peek anyway. I got a peek. I don't think uh, peeking takes clock. Mm -hmm. Don't don't peek. It'll break your heart. <laughs> I need the people to know. Absolutely, Ben. Oh, no, sorry. Pestilence list. My bad. My B. Yep. Oh, I have to block? Yeah, okay. Boop. Pass the turn. No effects. We die. Mm, okay, we weren't getting there. Not peeking anymore. <laughs> Alright, so what would have helped us out there? I guess serrated arrows would have been kind of okay, especially with the... Uh, especially with all of the standard bearer ring going around that can be kind of awkward and another o-ring is actually probably more important so i'll bring in another o-ring i'm going to take out one i'm going to take out our sheer drop because tapping six mana to have that fizzled uh, gives us another blocker but i think yeah i think another o-ring i would have been happy finding one that game so we're gonna go like that pestilence is super fun i like me some pestilence guys this has been the longest match of my life i feel like i feel like i've been here for a hundred years. <laughs> Am I old now? What what year is it? <laughs> um, this is mega awkward, but it's got the lock. So let's hope our deck doesn't go reverse flood this time and we draw a bunch of lands. I'm keeping this. Deck please. Deck please just just like be a bro. Okay, deck. Deck, I'm I'm gonna deck, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you for a sec here, bud. We need this, okay, deck? We need this, bud. So just... Okay. Okay. The deck understands. Let's see if it really does. <laughs> see you later, warrior of the stupid. Have a good night, man. Thanks for dropping in. We'll drop this upkeep stop for now because it's not relevant. <laughs> um. Okay. Come on. Proceed with the locks. Not quite. <laughs> We're not going to run out Invoker either. We'll run out Tapland next turn. <laughs> the deck does not understand. <laughs> All right. Well, this looks a lot like last game. Um, I think we might as well kill that now. Um, that'll let us at least run out our Invoker to pretend. Um, maybe not, though. Maybe not. We're not doing anything else with our mana, but it might get them to waste a protection spell on this. Are we doing anything else with our mana next turn? We are. So let's kill... Definitely elite. And play Kabir Crossroads and pass the turn. Of course, Natural Tron would just be gorgeous here, and I would love to. Um, yeah, we just gotta hope our opponent doesn't boggle this up too good. Uh, we stick a couple Honor Guards and run away with stuff. Wouldn't that be nice, though? Oh, uh, looks like our opponent's going all in straight away. I guess they know the uh, the Honor Guard's coming, so that makes a lot of sense. Yep. Oh, brutally fast is this just going to be the uh oh I, I figured it was going to be the kind of immediately oh my god like the immediate double strike kill but it's it might as well be the immediate double strike kill <laughs> they're tapped out of protection but we're just dead we we're, are we dead like we're pretty dead right <laughs> um yeah play a land play an honor card <laughs> Uh, not even Tron gets us out of this one, gang. The Take Vengeance hasn't been too bad. Um, but here it's, like, awful, right? So we pretty much have to find... They can't kill us with, like, Emerge Unscathed nonsense here, and we have to find a removal spell for this right now. Untapped land gives us a blocker. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, prophetic Prism... <laughs> mm, 
I think they would just hold up. I think they would just hold up protection for it if we weren't going to. Um, or they would have popped a couple of hyena umbros on it, and it wouldn't have mattered. Dang it! All right, well, GG's. <laughs> All right, deck. We had a uh, we've had enough fun for tonight. <laughs> let's uh let's get spiky with it. <laughs> Sad. Watch this, oblivion ring off the top. <laughs> nah, it's just an invoker. And uh yep. Uh yep. I mean, it's got Tron and a cycling land, so I'm going to keep. Let's find that lock. Yeah, Electricery too, I suppose. But then you just buy it back with a Custody Squire. Easy. GG. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. It is. It is flimsy. But I like it. I wanted to try it. I mean, a lot of stuff dies to Electricery. A lot of Elves die to Electricery. People still play them, right? <laughs> Delver. Creature that dies to Electricery. A lot of Delvers running around. So I think Scred Delver is on kind of the uh, the lower end of our matchups as well. We'll go ahead and assemble Tron, I think, um, as opposed to impulsing. We can worry about impulsing in a minute to do something about this Delver, but I think this matchup's pretty rough, especially where they also have interactive spells to deal with us. That's why we have the um, arrows in the main deck. So it'd be cool if we could get an arrows. We're probably going to not blind flip. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Going to leave a part counter for next turn for when we get on Tron. Yep. And I don't think we'll thoughtlessly run a prophetic prism into this but <laughs> but fairy miscreant does <laughs> all right we have the mine we have the power plant we need the tower my deck's trying to tell me about it and i'm just denying denying my deck the pleasure um so let's try to run out map here without playing the tron land i know it's crazy but we can't have access to um a colored source anyway I just want to see if they'll spell starters right it. Okay, cool. So we took care of that. We're just we're kind of just baiting here. And we'll pass the turn. <laughs> I know, I know, Ben. You've made your point, man. You've made your point. It does have one toughness. Consider me consider me thoroughly one toughness. <laughs> um yeah. So opponent's gonna get in. And ninja time? Is it ninja time? No ninja. Well, they leave up a hard counter. Now they can counter all of our two drops, which kind of sucks. Um, so I think we actually, I think the plan is to get Tron online, and then we're going to try to impulse on their end step. Hey, what's up, Syscoms? How you doing? Good evening. I guess if they tap out, tap low, we can uh, try for it. Yeah, I don't think that's low enough. We'll see if they're going for more blue mana. So they're representing hard counter now. I don't think they tutor for more blue mana. Unless maybe they're like, they don't have enough creatures for me to worry about. Maybe they don't have reason enough to want to cast two removal spells in the same turn. Yep, here they come. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Would love to have a Prismatic Strands here. But we don't. The frantic clicking should probably stop. <laughs> There's Augur. Um, yeah. We're going to go on end step. They might draw a counterspell off of this, but so be it. They only have enough mana to cast one counterspell now. Lo and behold. All right, so let's try to impulse um, into a mana source, ideally. I don't think we have to reveal it here. Um, Yeah, so there's some prophetic prisms. So we'll bait the counter with prophetic prism. We do, Although we don't really want prophetic prism to get countered. Maybe we'll bait the counter with lone missionary. So we'll take Prism, bottom the rest. Yep. There's a Tron land. Okay, so let's... Let's try to sneak out a Lone Missionary. I guess the way we tap mana, it looks like we're... looking to hold something up here, or looking to play something else. And I guess we might as well not deny them the counter spell value. We can't do anything on our end step now. I guess we could try to resolve two spells next turn. We could try to, like, core Skyfisher as a juicy target, but then they can counter one of the two drops with a spell stutter sprite and then hard counter the other thing, and then we're in really rough shape. We've got 
a lone missionary to their sweet board. But maybe just denying them use of their mana this turn wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> I am ahead. <laughs> What's up, Ben? Um, versus regular burn is pretty funny. So I think I'm just going to play a tower here. And I don't really know. I don't, I don't think we can run this prism into a into what they're doing, but I also don't think we can cast one spell each turn. So let's try the Prism. They know we've tanked over it for a million years, so they probably will counter it, but it does stand to reason that we could resolve some more stuff next turn. All right, your turn. Sometimes you flip the counter off the auger, and they correctly identified that we kind of needed that really bad. This is another one of those matchups where you really need that combo of uh, Honor Guard and Invoker. Opponent's going to gush. All right. Two blue mana. We're going to see some delvers. Just another auger. Gush into auger is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Here they come. Yep. No blocks. They're going to get to ninja something. I'm going to cry. <laughs> honor guard. Okay. So I don't really care about honor guard resolving um, in this map. I guess I kind of do, actually. So let's impulse. Well, they won't counter impulse either. Let's course catfisher. They probably will counter this. And hey, maybe they don't have any counter spells. But I'm kind of reluctant to think Delver doesn't have a counter spell. It's just kind of what they do. They might choose not to counter this, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Players is mine. Pass the turn. <laughs> Welcome to Delverland, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. As long as it's like related to magic. Uh, hopefully popper but you know if it's not popper related if it's like another format or something that's cool we're getting thoroughly delved here gang this isn't a very good matchup it truly isn't i tried to hedge for it about as well as i could but we play on our turn so often and not interactively enough until we're until they've kind of like snowballed their card advantage and oof i guess we gotta hope they don't have it right We've seen a, we know they have Bolt in hand, so now we have to try to sneak through Invoker, which is, of course, quite awkward. So let's try to sneak through Honor Guard. If they have another hard counter here, then balls. But if we can sneak this and this through, you know, maybe, maybe we've run them out of interaction. Who knows? <laughs> of course, they can just scred this, but the less interaction in their hand, the better. Mm, I'll check that out in a bit. I've had an issue with uh, dropping frames, and I've been kind of... Um, yeah, there's Scred. And they have Bolt in hand for our Invoker. Awesome. <laughs> there's Augur. Probably going to drop another removal spell. Yeah, we're pretty dead here, gang. And here they come. I don't even know if I want to show them Invoker. I'm okay with them knowing about the other creatures we got, but Invoker doesn't really make any sense and we're gonna scoop nothing we can do here they're just going to so if we block this we take four down to two and we actually we know they have a removal spell for this and a bolt in hand and so we're dead all right so arrows comes in hydroblast probably actually kind of important here uh we're probably are we the control deck they're the mid-range deck cop blue is probably kind of important a lot of sideboard for this matchup. So this is the stuff we're bringing in. We're probably going to ease up on our blue mana a little bit. We're going to take the drifters out. We're going to take out probably sheer drop because tapping out for it is a little risky. Um, prismatic strands are fine. I don't think we're trying to honor guard too often, but I'm okay having three of them in here. I like my squires. Uh, Lone missionary is probably not super important. I guess having three Hydro Blasts for all of their counter magic is even a bit too much. So we'll take out this, and we'll take out this, and keeping in mind that it's making our Skyfisher a bit worse, we'll submit it like that. See what we can do. Great. Um, bunch of serrated arrows, but no time to cast them. Like... Hmm. We're gonna have the mana. You know what? This isn't actually that bad. I think I think I'm gonna keep this. We're gonna play expedition map on turn one because if they annul it, then we might be in really bad shape. They, I don't know if they will annul it, but they might. And pass turn. Forgot about strands in the grave. Speaking of which, 
All right, there's Fairy Miscreant, sure. So we're looking at a turn two ninja here. That's not really good news. Um, we'll play out of Tron Land and pass. Probably going to tutor for another Tron Land here. And then play a tap land next turn, which is a heck of a lot of information to give our opponent. But they're going to see this as an opportunity to get ninja down. Maybe we'll find a take vengeance or something. Maybe. No, no ninja. Okay. I don't know what. So auger? All right. Spell stutter. Gotcha. Thinking about a sky fisher, I believe. So we have tower. Might even tell them that we're off two colors here. Um, I think that's the plan we're on. So we're going to play Kabira Crossroads. And I guess try... We'll probably cycle this and try to resolve the Serrated Arrows next turn. Take Vengeance on this is just a throwaway, really. So I'm not even going to do that. Mm -hmm. We just got to survive. <laughs> You're right, though. I wish this was a Sorcerer or an Instant so bad. Would that be too strong? If this was an instant, do you guys think Take Vengeance would be too strong as an instant? <laughs> Survive. We'll worry about winning the game later. Okay, so they've tapped out a hard counter mana. They can counter three drops, but they can't counter Serrated Arrows, as it stands. As far as I know, they might have, you know, <laughs> they might have any number of things. So, yep, going to get in with Miscreant. Sure. And pass. All right, we'll cycle Secluded Step. And Tronland? Tranquil Cove. Tronland. Oh my god, if they have Daze. We about to get Daze Tilt here? A Null Tilt? Serrated Arrows? Which tilt will you provide me, opponent? <laughs> they don't have Daze, well that's good. I hope not. I've seen some people play Daze in Scrap Delver lists. But not often. Not very often at all. Um, and I don't know, like, they, what are they thinking about? Like, if they want to annul this? I guess. Maybe they're planning out their next turn. Um, and I'm going to kill a fairy right away. Come on! <laughs> don't slow roll it. They're going to gush looking for annul on my turn. That's a, that's a good sign for me. I don't know that two fresh cards is really worth putting yourself back that far. Because now we're going to get to resolve another one next turn. They're going to brainstorm. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I think I think that was really good for us. So let's not let's try to not uh let's try to not let that get away from us. I think I want to kill these now. Why wouldn't I want to kill these? I guess if they play a Delver. Yeah. So I'm just going to pass. Kill them? Whoa, wait. <laughs> I'm going to basic land cycle. We'll kill a fairy miscreant. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's dead now. They're going to they have 10 cards in hand. <laughs> They're going to play an island. They got Brainstorm Shuffle online, so they got that going for them. But we're going to resolve another Serrated Arrows, so that turns off their Spell Stutter Sprites, and then... Yeah, I, it might be it might be arrows into. Is this ninja? We could take vengeance. That. Oh, I guess we just Tron next turn. I really want the blue mana for impulse. Prophetic prism would be okay. I will take a prophetic prism. Opponent discarding two cards to hand size. More imps. <laughs> more four more imps. <laughs> uh, all right, so we'll play. Mm. I kind of want to play this blue source. Reasons I shouldn't play this blue source. Days. It's the only reason. And I I don't think they have days in hand. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and try to run out another Serrated Arrows here. They did signal that they have a Null. But uh, I really want to play this tap land. Sweet. Okay. So we'll kill this fairy, and that's going to hopefully help us against Ninja. And now we have to try to resolve a few two drops onto the fairy board. A spell stutter sprite, sure. Kill it. Pass turn. 
Six cards in our opponent's hand. One and two counters on our arrows, respectively. Assumingly, assuming there's a ton of counter magic in their hand. There's Invoker. Now, if I was a betting man, I'd say they've got a counter spell in their hand. But at the same time, <laughs> maybe they don't. Um, so let's try to bait it with an impulse, and we might hit like one of our color producers that they'll want to counter. So let's try to bait with an impulse here. See what they do. Uh, there's Honor Guard. I think Honor Guard is fine enough on its own. And if they let Honor Guard through and we get uh, an Invoker down, then we're doing pretty good. So we'll get Honor Guard. A tap Bolt, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm really glad I impulsed there. And we'll play Honor Guard. We'll see if they do anything. Um, if they do counter this, I'm not going to play Invoker. They let it go. Okay. Well, can you blame me? Play Invoker. This is what we're trying to do. We're going to do it. <laughs> so, yeah. So let's do it. I think the computer's having a little bit of a hard time, guys. So if we if we drop frames, I apologize. So this might be... Well, they can't scred. So they'll have to do it on their turn, at which point we have an invoker to start locking their board down. Um, uh, granted, it might not last that many turns, but the lock has been assembled. <laughs> we can start attacking for four every turn. <laughs> for a minute, anyway. All right, let's see what they've got. Preordain, sure. We'll see how they scry. And one on top, one on bottom. So probably removal spells for ye old honor guard is what they're looking for. Yep. Sure. No, you're just going to find another one. Start attacking for two. Prophetic Prism. Let's see what that gets us. Maybe a counterspell. <laughs> we draw a card. Another Arrows. Well, I'm not upset about additional Arrows. Um, we'll play Power Plant. We'll go to combat and attack. If they flash something in, we can tap it. It's not really a big deal. Yep. And we can also just kill it with arrows. And we'll try to resolve another arrows. I'd really like to get this counter magic out of their hand. I have reason to believe that they have uh, removal. All right, they're going to counter the other arrows, but that wasn't really that important to us, so that's cool. I guess that's the point at which they can start um, killing augers, so they might be a little bit worried about that. There's auger. So that makes sense now. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what Augur finds. Only six mana. Kind of a bummer. Hard counter, eh? Pretty good. Um, okay. There's another invoker. All right, so let's go to combat and attack. And I wonder if we should, like, tap this down offensively and then um, try to take Vengeance, the Augur of Bolas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana. So we need 8 plus 5 is 13 mana. So we're just 1 mana shy of that. I don't know if they counter the next Invoker or not, though. Um, I think I think we've got to try it. Because if they counter the next Honor Guard, then this doesn't have any chance of surviving, and I, they don't have a removal spell in hand. So we'll see. This I feel like the second one isn't that important to them either. Yeah, cool. All right, so on their upkeep, we will tap their board. Yep. Sure. It was Spell Stutter all along. Um, I think we can wait till beginning of combat, or whenever they target one of these with a the removal spell. Although combat doesn't really, like, that's not a huge issue, because we can just kill the ninja. Mm, but I mean, if there is no ninja, tap a bunch of mana, tap all your creatures... And we can play around two bolts now, like, we're just in really good shape here. 
I'm not going to worry about this spell stutter sprite for the moment because we'll have to trade in an arrow soon. Um, yeah, sure, whatever. Yep, can't protect it. So the first bolt has eaten an invoker. It's bizarre that they would let the other one resolve. Three mana for our opponent. They're going to leave up hard counter again. Okay. Turn comes back to us. Um, I wonder if I can get them to counter this Take Vengeance. Because I don't want Augur of Bolas in the way, and I really don't want it to get picked up by Ninja. Yep, yeah, sweet. Okay, so we'll play Tranquil Cove, go to combat. Glare the movie? I've never heard of it. And we just gotta hope they don't have more removal for our invoker. Because we have a fairly slow clock here. I guess so do they. Their clock is actually effectively slower than ours. So this is Brainstorm hoping for a good fetch. Just fetch. Okay, so one land, two unknowns. Island going to our opponent. The move. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it, opponent. You had to have it, huh? So we'll do this. Tap their stuff. And just hope they don't have more counter magic in their hand. And that maybe we draw Custody Squires and things. But we just draw Tron lands. As it should be. <laughs> well, that's great. This spell starter sprite doesn't really matter. I don't have a lot of one drops I care about, so I might let them get their ninja down and then try to kill it with uh, arrows. Yep, maybe they have two ninjas. They're going to do that whole shebang. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I hope they don't have two ninjas. <laughs> I'm gonna feel like a dummy if they have two ninjas. <laughs> so put a counter, and put a counter, and pass the turn. Gonna lose an arrows, auger in hand, and we lose an arrows. There's a hydro blast. Thanks, bud. Good timing. <laughs> Uh, all right, and I'm going to kill this Spell Stutter now um, because we have a Hydro Blast in hand, and if we ever find something we want to protect, Hydro Blast is going to do it. Um, so we'll kill this, and that's going to prevent them from getting Ninja Value next turn. We're at 20. We have less time on clock, so we should be aware of that. I don't know about any red spells I'd want to counter, so I'm just going to have six. Let's see what our opponent finds. Not more counter magic. Seen two counter spells already. They whiff on Augur. Good. All right, so arrows goes away. We can get that back with Custody Squire. We find Cop Blue. Well, isn't that interesting? Do you have another hard counter opponent? Because that would be a bummer. Come on. Third hard counter? I guess. <laughs> All right, opponent. You're going to have the opportunity here. Wow. Man. If they didn't have that counter spell, that was it. That was just, we had it. That sucks. I thought it was pretty low, low chance they had it. They haven't even seen half of their deck. They got the third counter spell. I guess they like brainstorming and stuff. I'm gonna brainstorm, fetch away some stuff that doesn't matter. Probably found their fourth counter spell. Ponders. And pretty much access to whatever spell they want at this point. Not gonna shuffle so that they find another ninja for their auger. I wonder. These games have been going long, huh, gang? No ninja, so I, I think they have more counter magic. Um, we're gonna get map. We're going to go for a cycling land. Um, unless, of course, they want to counter this. Then we won't. And try to find a cycling land. Oh, we already have it on the battlefield. Isn't that freaking wonderful? We already cycled it, and it's gone. <laughs> Um, so I don't really know what's relevant here. I guess Kyberia Crossroads is probably best for a little bit more life game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it kind of is, right? Um, I don't know whether Graveyard would be important. I guess maybe they have, like, I don't know. I don't know, gang. Um, so we might have to do something fancy with a Custody Squire, so I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a tower here and pass. We have plenty of colored mana. But that's what that's what Ponder and Preordain and Brainstorm does, right? 
That's why those cards are good. Is this game one? No, this is game two. <laughs> We've already lost one. Okay. So Augur gets in. Nothing I can can feasibly or would want to Hydro Blast. And I think they got it now. That third counter spell, man. Oof. That was the one card it took. And they had it. Only two unknowns in hand at the time of casting. One of them was Heart Counter. Evolving Wilds, not playing Augur, which is questionable. So we'll try to play a Prophetic Prism. Yep. And do you have the fourth... <laughs> Do you have the fourth hard counter opponent? Because my body can't stand to have that happen. <laughs> All right, we found a Prismatic Strands. Prismatic Strands is probably more valuable than anything else in this pile, but we were going to draw a bunch more lands, so I'm pretty glad I did Impulse there. And uh, we'll pass. And try not to shuffle for about as long as possible. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a grind, guys. It's gonna be a grind. We're gonna let them draw a card off Ninja here. I don't think it's time to Strands. I think that comes later. Although playing on their turn at this point in the game might be relevant. Um, especially where they have Ninja on board, actually. Let's see what Augur finds. Nutting. Nutting buh. Yeah, maybe Strands is important enough here. And it might draw a counter magic. So we'll go to blocks. We don't want them, we don't want to trade a card with them right now. Um and this might help us sneak through a spell that matters next turn, so we'll strands on blue. As little getting ahead as possible, ideally. Cool, so they won't draw an extra card. We'll have six. And we draw Skyfisher. I hope this resolves. That would be just lovely. So Skyfisher. Come on. Double spell stutter sprite, here it comes. Can they even do that? Okay, it resolves. Sweet. So we'll grab Prophetic Prism. I will Hydro Blast a removal spell here. Sweet. I guess I can spell stutter this though. That might have been sketchy. Okay, cool. So Skyfisher survives. So I'm assuming they're just on mono removal in hand right now. What do we draw? Uh, Custody Squire, awesome. Okay, so play Custody Squire. We've seen a good amount of the removal. So I think I'm going to get back Invoker here. We have less of them in our library, and all of our creatures are kind of an issue for them. Oh, okay, sure. So there was the other hard counter. I'm pretty glad they, uh, they let Skyfisher resolve there, though. Dang it, that would have been pretty good. Opponents cast all four of their hard counters. And another removal spell. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so we'll tap this. Flash this back. Popping off now. Straight popper here. Oh, wait. Guys, are we losing frames like crazy? Did anybody... Did I drop you guys? Oh, shh. Okay, hold on, guys. Hold up. Everybody's still there? Are you guys still there? I was dropping frames like crazy. Okay. <laughs> hey, he was in the water. Um, I don't know why that keeps happening at like the same time on certain nights. Like, I think it might be my internet. I just, I unfortunately have to play really fast here. So after this game, I might take the stream down. And uh, at that point, we'll... Uh... Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, maybe our opponent doesn't have any more removal. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Squire can get back enchantments, too, yeah. What can you do, opponent? All right, sure. So that'll come down, and then at the beginning of combat... No, I didn't misclick. I did pro blue so that I could, uh, so they didn't draw any extra cards. And I would, I would misclick for you any day. I love you guys. <laughs> There's a prism, redraw, get that down there. And hydro blast, pretty good. Um, all right, go to combat, swing for two, F6. Ooh. 
what is causing this? I can counter their first burn spell, that's right. Evolving Wild, sure. F. <laughs> F. Okay, they're going to get to draw an extra card. Playing way too fast. We're going to take a bunch of damage for no reason. Sorry about that. I'm a little I'm a little distracted by the dropping frames. We definitely did not want that to happen. Yeah, okay. Sorry. I'm getting back in the game. That was stupid. <laughs> yep. Our turn. Kabir Crossroads. No good. Pretty much useless. Go to combat attack and I think we've lost game one so we really have to like I don't think we can win game two but we'll try <laughs> all right see if they flip Delver okay will do <laughs> yeah it definitely has to be activated <laughs> opponent gonna try to get away with it Maybe I can win the next one in that amount of time, but I don't know if I can. Expedition map, doesn't really matter. Play it anyway. Do some thinning. Maybe get a couple activations of Invoker per turn. Yep. I guess I could gain life here as well. Try to win back some of that whatever happened back there. Took 10 unintentional damage or whatever. <laughs> All right, go to combat, attack. Now I've kind of got to win this. <laughs> 30. We've got the first burn spell taken care of. And does Delver flip? Mm -hmm. On a burn spell. So let's not misclick through that, huh? Fairy Miscreant, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably could do that. And Preordain, sure. And now what? Are you going to bolt the thing? Okay. So they very well may have Spell Stutter in hand at this point, but we're still going to try to Hydro Blast here. And Spell Stutter? Sure. All right, so tap all your stuff and pass the turn. So let spell starter come down. We might as well tap spell starter as well. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Master. Okay. So nothing we could do about that. No strands in the graveyard or anything. And we got a couple turns to maybe get out of this, but I don't know if it's going to happen. And I don't think we can conceivably win the next game in time. So Lone Missionary, pass the turn. One card in our opponent's hand, just a buttload of damage on board. Hey, look. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Ben. <laughs> Jeez, man. Thanks, uh, thanks for taking the obvious and putting it directly in front of me. I appreciate that. <laughs> no blocks. We'll see what they can do. What kind of nonsense with two cards in hand. Another ninja probably picking up Augur or maybe even picking up Spell Stutter to try to protect them. All we need is our last squire. Cop blue, let's go. But I think they picked up Spell Stutter there. So they can counter pretty much every spell from here on in. And yeah, let's find out. Ponders. Oh, that stream, that, that stream tilt. I've been tilted by a lot of things, but not my own stream going weird. I'm going to have to get to the bottom of that. And it's usually only once a stream, too, which is really bizarre. Are you guys having, like, a lot of troubles with, like, buffering on your end and stuff? Oh, yeah, no. No Cavernous Souls today. Um, Take Vengeance? I going to do it? One, two, three. <laughs> no. We're dead. All right. Okay. All right. A couple of drifters couple of redraws nearly Tron so I think I am gonna keep this um, it's not too too bad so I'm gonna hold on to this Our opponent gets to go first we'll take off this upkeep stop and pass it over to them not stompy come on <laughs> not stompy again all right so we'll play mine play map pass the turn it looks like we're gonna play stompy again guys which is fantastic <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so a few things had to change. I had to uh I had to take out ooh, early query ranger as well. So I had to take off low latency streaming and I also had to uh reduce the reduce the resolution, but I think I can increase the resolution again. Oh my god. What is going on? They just attacked for five on turn two. <laughs> um, okay, sure. <laughs> uh, I guess we're going to go get a Tron land. <laughs> this is going to be bumpy, guys. <laughs> so I'll have to figure it out. Maybe I'll do a test stream um, at some point and try to find out why my latency is really bad. And just at like certain points, we'll see what triggers it maybe. And then we'll move on with our lives. All right, so let's see if we can't take vengeance some stuff that matters. Groundswell? What? Is this like combo stompy? Holy heck, man. Aggressive stompy? As opposed to every other variation of stompy, I guess. Yeah. Wow. Um, Sure, are we dead? This doesn't look good. <laughs> Honor Guard would have been pretty sweet a minute ago. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think we're going to Prism, play Crossroads, and then hopefully resolve an Honor Guard or get an Honor Guard down. Impulse pretty bad here. Two Mull Drifters definitely bad here. <laughs> GG's rip us. Rip us indeed. <laughs> People apparently have had enough of getting locked out of the game. Uh, vines. So, GG's. 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> wow, guys. Wow. Okay. Um, sure. <laughs> nice. Okay, so what is good against this deck? Definitely another Honor Guard. Um, probably Seal or Removal. I'll take out a Drifter. A little slow. One Serrated Arrow is probably a little slow. Um, the Circle of Protections don't really do anything. I think we're just going to run it like that. I guess Oblivion Rings might be okay, but they're not really boggling up, so let's see if we can do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess this deck is tuned for that Tron meta. No, they kind of haven't. Um, we haven't run into any slow matchups where they've been important. Impulse is a concession to Dawn Glare Invoker, which I decided to test out this week. So, um... M. Lovebow gets away with playing less things that produce Tron lands because they're able to, um, you know, kind of like Skyfisher or Missionary. Like, they can play the first few turns of the game without having Tron, but uh, but with Invoker, you, you have to have Tron. It should be good now. It doesn't look like I'm dropping any more frames. Yeah, no, we should be all right. I think, I think everything's okay. But it was, I think, and unfortunately, I think it was the low latency streaming, which is really unfortunate because I love that. That's kind of my favorite. So hopefully that wasn't it, and we can find a better solution. This hand would be sweet, but they'll just kill us if we take too long drawing lands. <laughs> Natural Tron and a Sur oh, Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so let's go. Tron. No, me neither. We're not a Flickr deck, right? Uh, I'm on Streamlabs OBS. So it could be it could be something to do with that. I don't know if we want to. We might even want to Kabir Crossroads here. Take our time on Tron. Get those arrows down later because they're on a 2-2 two -two, so that we can take Vengeance next turn. This might be the one. <laughs> hey, we've won three games and a match, okay? <laughs> and there were some close ones. All right, so they're going to rank her up the Nettle Sentinel. Hopefully they don't have very many creatures. I feel like this deck is lighter on creatures than regular Stompy. Although maybe not. This could be Pit Skulk. Um, at which point our next Take Vengeance will be good. I feel like this deck's pretty bad against Disfigure. All right, more Tron lands. Not really what we're looking for, but it is what it is. It's not tapped. Heck. <laughs> Run out of Power Plant. Pass the turn. Well, at least we can do both next turn, huh? we've already won three games <laughs> but they might who knows they might kill us here like this this deck is insane like insanely fast so there's your disadvantage another disadvantage for take vengeance maybe Stompy's a bad matchup that i never considered yep here comes young wolf here comes young wolf <laughs> also a little bad against our plan 
and young wolf. Okay. <laughs> Can we survive a turn? There's lone missionary. Play mine. Play. I don't know. Take vengeance. Take vengeance. The pit skulk. <laughs> to, 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 and play arrows and pass turn so we'll kill one of these wolves um probably beginning of combat oh queer ranger so good against take vengeance I, we can kill that with serrated arrows also a key card in elves oh yeah no it is very good in elves what's up rastlin helmy how you doing yep We're gonna untap young wolf with their activation which is interesting to return the land to their hand they might just have us here, like we might just be dead. <laughs> so they get in. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And groundswell ripperonis? Because even if like one groundswell is kind of enough here. Yep. Okay. It's a bunch of damage. <laughs> and yeah, we're just going to take a million. Down to one. Kill Quirion Ranger. <laughs> there are very few things that get us out of this. An island is definitely not one of those things. Uh, I guess we can gain some life off of uh, Lone Missionary and then kill um, one of these young wolves in combat. So we will play out our Lone Missionary here. And it does block this, I guess, for what that's worth. Rip take vigilant. <laughs> yeah, rip take vengeance. We've played this is what is this? Like the fourth match against Stompy I played tonight? Like it's just kind of kind of obviously very good. <laughs> the deck doesn't understand. It doesn't know what we're looking for. Pretty big on ship and lands, this deck. Here they come. Big old Stompy boys. Okay, we'll go to blocks. We will block like this and pass through, see what their pump spells look like. We're at five. No effects. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll take three. You kind of want to kill one of these in the combat where it's going to kill you. If we can interact with our opponent's board in the early game and then maybe cycle this away. Uh, we got some graveyard hate if this is finally the control matchup. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it all right so Kavir crossroads and we'll keep going we'll play probably lone missionary next turn they're not going to play anything that will be vengeful okay i see so maybe we do want to take vengeance at definitely want to take vengeance at yeah this is awkward too but we have enough life gain i have oh we can't take vengeance at i have won this matchup before so i'm not like that afraid but it's not a great matchup. Hopefully we didn't just turn on their Searing Blaze. That would be awkward. <laughs> it, this won't get pumped, I guess, but we'll still take three. Lose our lone missionary that we plan to pick up next turn. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully they don't uh, they don't Searing Blaze us into infinity here. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it doesn't look super bad. We're going to get to recur Lone Missionary a couple of times, hopefully. I feel like Searing Blaze is on the way. No, I guess it's not. So that is good news. Um, and we won't trade with this Lava Runner just yet. Oh, they don't attack. Okay. So they don't want to trade with their Lava Runner either. So let's play Bajooka Bog. Get rid of the instant or sorcery they're ha they currently have in their graveyard. And then we'll Core Skyfisher back our Missionary. I feel like they're not going to block it, but I don't really want to risk that either. So we'll Skyfisher back the missionary. Pretty awkward that we're not on any um, any way to interact with the, these guys right now, but that's take vengeance for you, gang. All right, let's see what they've got. Cycling Forgotten Cave. That is a great sign. Playing another land. Oh, yeah. Bolts the Skyfisher. Okay. So still no haste plus two plus two on these guys. And we might be able to kill one. I'd really like to draw a white source, obviously. Needle drops us to draw a card. 
and Tron land, okay. All right, so we have Invoker for when we do eventually get Tron, but I don't think that's gonna happen this turn. So we'll play Tron land, play map, and play missionary. And who knows, maybe we'll draw some good stuff. I will trade with one of these next turn. And like I said, I hope I didn't turn on their uh hope I didn't turn on their hope I don't turn on their searing blaze by playing this. That would be unfortunate. Alright, so Lone Missionary comes down. Gains us some life, and we pass the turn. We're at 24, and our burn opponent only has four cards in hand. That's that's you know, that's a better place than I have been against burn decks. Um, yep, so we're gonna take that out right away, get him for some damage. Uh-huh. Sure will. And they play a land, that's good news. Sheer drop. So if we go get a Tron land, play the Tron land, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. So let's go get a Tron land. Invoker is like pretty bad in this matchup, like very bad in this matchup. We need mine. So we'll play the mine and sheer drop one of these bad boys. And I think we'll awaken Bazooka Bog. Yeah. I think it's the least important land. So we'll get that on, and then we'll have a blocker for this. Of course, this does die to Searing Blaze, but that's okay. Donglar Invoker will eventually invalidate these guys. Granted, we can just kill it with a Take Vengeance, but this is also a clock. So if they attack again with this, we can take Vengeance in next turn, start attacking. Um, yeah, so that might be how this goes. We go to 18, which is a pretty healthy life total against three cards in the burn deck. And yeah, let's keep it going, guys. Let's beat Burn. Let's do it. 2-3 Dream is alive. Opponents on mismatch lands. Mm-hmm. And leaving up a bunch of mana, which is bizarre. Um, yeah, so I don't think it's time for Invoker yet. We are going to take Vengeance, this. Play out a Tron land and start attacking. Awkward, not the right mana hands. Bajookabog looking pretty bad in the main deck. We haven't run into any counter Tron decks or uh, or control decks where Bajookabog actually matters. All right, let's keep going. Opponent just passing. It's a little odd. It's a little bizarre. Don't know what they could be waiting for. Could have a bunch of Searing Blazes they're waiting to turn on, I guess, but I've been I've been talking about Searing Blazes this whole time. They never played one. So I don't assume they have one. Tough to say though. We draw another Tron land. Not what we were looking for. Um we'll attack with Bajukabog. We'll play Donglair Invoker later, because it might it might serve some kind of purpose if they're gonna remove this. Four cards in hand, that's really interesting. I don't know if maybe they're playing around prismatic strands, like they're waiting for us to tap our white mana and just have some crazy kind of like combo turn. We're certainly not as fast as they are, so they can kind of afford to do that. And we're hellbent. Opponent drew land and passed. Honor Guard is an awesome draw, especially where they're not casting burn spells. Um, so we're going to go to combat before we cast that. Go to combat and attack for five. Come on. Come on, opponent. Because now if they're just top, de top decking one burn spell at a time, then they can't get them through Coalition Honor Guard. And I kind of would be okay with them using one on one of our creatures here as well. Not going to commit this secluded step. Mana is definitely not an issue for us. And still have eight mana up if they do play something that matters. I'll still tap on their end step. Like if they play like Thermal Alchemist, I'd, I'd still like to tap it just in case we draw another kill tapped. Yeah, like it's getting in, right? <laughs> Our opponent doesn't have any way to interact with it. <laughs> it's at its best. You should see it against elves, Ben, I'm telling you. 
You're going to Fire Blast us with Coalition Honor Guard on the stack, which is interesting because Fire Blast is one of the only cards that can kill it. Um, so I think they're going to dump their hand here. Double Fire Blast. We're at 10. They have one land. Um, and now their Lightning Bolts can't get through Honor Guard one at a time. So they're going to have to find a land and cast two Burn Spells targeting Honor Guard to get away with it. Curse. Okay. Oh, we're going pretty fast. Curse might not do it. Especially when they have to target this. What do we draw? Impulse. Doesn't do anything here. So we're going to cycle. And Prismatic Strands. Can't cast it this turn. Attack, pass, and hope they can't kill us. They're at two. Don't kill us, opponent. Be a, be a mate. I don't think they can. They'd have to target this with something and then... Yeah, sweet. All right, so arrows, not very good. Honor guards, very good. Hydro blasts, real, real good. Um, we don't want to wait for sheer drop. The take vengeances should do the trick. And I might even go down one of these because they're just worse than hydro blasts. Um, and I think that's good. Oblivion ring, actually, I might bring in a couple of oblivion rings over a couple more. Take vengeance because I really want to win. And we'll try to get them like that. Wow, man. You sure are pessimistic tonight, Ben. I gotta say. <laughs> you gotta make yourself a real good meal. Pick yourself up. Come on back. Come on back when you want to be positive. <laughs> um, we're gonna mulligan this. No Tron lands, and a couple of impulses and a prismatic strands aren't gonna win us a game. We at least like some of our life gain lands. So I think I will keep this, especially where it's got Honor Guard. Alright, what can we scry into? Tron land? Another Honor Guard. Don't know if we want the second one here. Probably not. No, we need more lands before we want that. So we'll put that on the bottom. And pass. And another Tron Lamb, but not the one we were looking for. But fourth mana source is good. I'm playing this out first just in case I draw a Prophetic Prism next turn so I can play Untap Land, Prophetic Prism. Curse, well, that's good on turn one for sure. Almost as good as Lava Runner. And... Will we see the Prophetic Prism? No Prophetic Prism. All right, so Crossroads goes down. We'll pass. And yeah, next turn, I don't know. We'll, prob we'll probably run one of these out to start attacking. Didn't want to see this at all. That's dangerous. Maybe we'll find one of those O-rings. O-ring? Hydro Blast? Can't, use <laughs> can't cast Hydro Blast, but I mean, <laughs> hope for it. I kind of don't want to play this out, so I'd be happy with another land as well. Well, another Tron land is okay. We'll play out Invoker and uh, and pass. It's not super good against Thermal Alchemist, clearly. Um, yeah, and just pass. And next turn we'll play Honor Guard. Hopefully they'll not be able to kill us by then. We can buy this back with a Custody Squire eventually as well. So let's see what happens. <laughs> it's a great idea, huh? I mean, you can tap it. Like, if they tap out, you can tap it and kill it with something. But that's that's pretty fringe. Um. All right, Thermo Alchemist, what do you got for me? Nothing. They're just going to wait. I don't blame you. Okay, so let's see what we draw. Wouldn't mind Tron Land. But we're pretty close to going, like, Honor Guard. They'll have to target it, and then we can just Custody Squire back Honor Guard. We're feeling okay. Yep, Curse is going to deal one. Opponent playing pretty slow for a burn player. Burn players usually have places to be. Um, playing on tap land so that we can play Honor Guard and try to put our opponent back a turn. I'm going to do this pre-combat. Do you want to fling some burn spells at our face? This is effectively like counter two burn spells, right? Usually. Unless they want to Fire Blast or something. Jeez, opponent. Okay, they're going to let it resolve. And we we'll attack with Invoker. It's still a little bit of a slow loop, like Custody Squire, Coalition Honor Guard. They get, like, a whole turn to kind of do what they have to, and Burn can do a lot with a single turn. Emptying their hand, their primary plan. No spells is pretty weird there. Maybe they just can't kill this without throwing two burn spells at it. They're trying to find another way. Kelden Marauders, sure. No worries. 
Mm -hmm. And it's our turn. Sweet. So we'll play a Tranquil Cove. Go to combat and attack with an Invoker. Play another Invoker in this Invoker this turn. I'm not going to block Kelden Marauders with... Uh, I might chump Kelden Marauders with Invoker because I don't want them to have any better chance of removing this. So I actually think I'm going to chump with an Invoker this turn. Right, we don't have Tron, <laughs> Tron yet. So play this, and then next turn... Uh, actually, maybe it doesn't matter if they kill us. It probably does. We can just get back Invoker with Custody Squire, so it doesn't really matter. I guess it's a better clock. Let's us attack before next turn. Yep, Thermal Alchemist pings. Let's just find Tron, and life can be good. How about that? I don't know why they wouldn't serve with this, I guess, but we shouldn't take three from it, regardless. Don't think that's the proper strategy here. You're blocking with the 2 4? Yeah, I guess either way, this is going to prevent 3 damage. Really? Especially because I'm going to buy it back. Yeah, sure. I think that's fair enough. Yeah, so they bounce. Yep, yeah, pings. And they're going to target this with a bolt. It just, it gives them a lot of time. Granted, like, if we find Tron next turn, we get, it's a lot easier. I think they're right, though. Like, it does prevent three damage, eventually. And we can start attacking for four. Oh, sweet. Um, <laughs> so we'll, one, two, three, uh, we should cycle first, if that's what we're going to do. So we will cycle this. And there's a the last Tron land, but not really anything we can do with it currently. So we'll play out the Honor Guard and go to combat and attack for four. See if they have more Lightning Bolt Fire Blast nonsense going on. Yeah, that worked out pretty well with the top deck Honor Guard there. I must say. <laughs> That's pretty much best case Ontario. And we're going to get the other one back with Custody Squire and I believe play it in the same turn. Not 100% sure, but I think we might be able to. We'll go to 12. Mm-hmm. But I think they're going to have to target this with burn spells conceivably for the rest of the game. They're getting two damage on us a turn anyway. We have a faster clock than that, especially after we play Custody Squire. Needle drops us because Coalition Honor Guard hasn't been dealt damage this turn. Awkward. Land, sure. And we get pierced. Prophetic Prism. So play Urza's Tower. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do this correctly. One, two, three. Lands, that is, five mana. And we'll go get Honor Guard. Or so, yeah, we'll get Coalition Honor Guard. And then cast that. And I believe we'll have mana left over for our Prophetic Prism. We will! We'll have lots. Okay, so Honor Guard, Prophetic Prism. And Bajooka Bob. Alright, cool. So attack for four. And we got him up against it. We can attack for six, nine next turn. So we can attack for lethal next turn. And they have to chew through two Honor Guards to kill us. I really love Custody Squire. Like, it's, yeah, it's there for me too, I think. I've had tons of fun. What? Flaring Pain. Sure. Flaring Pain for an extra bit of damage. Are they going to get us this turn somehow? Are they just going to cast a bunch of spells and kill us with Thermo Alchemist? Oh my god, I'm going to be salty. The salt. <laughs> Lava Spikes. Us. Down to three. Oh my god, and they can flash back Flaring Pain. And put us down to one. I think we're dead. Holy crap. Dear God. <laughs> Alright, they got us. Sure. So it really didn't even matter. Fire blast the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They won. 
All right, so nothing we could really do about that. They played around our honor guards expertly. Yeah, Thermal Alchemist is nuts, man. What's up, Helutech? That's true. That's true. You're right. Could have cantripped. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was really good. No way to interact with it either. Be pretty sweet to get these bad boys. Or just like, a, like an answer to their creatures in general, and then we should be okay. I could probably even take out invokers for like take vengeances, but I don't know that they're that good here. Probably not that good. I doubt they're going to tap out with a Thermal Alchemist. Um, well, we've got answers to their creatures, but this hand really sucks otherwise, so I'm going to mulligan. Is this how it's going to end, gang? We're going to mull the five and call it a night? <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> Alright, power plant, pass. But assembling Tron on turn three is not how we're going to beat this. So they might have us, man. They might have us. We'll see. Tower, we'll play tower, pass turn. Took a chain light into the dome. Yeah, let's find out what happens. Because it's a five, or it's a five hand, and I think I've seen a lot for I've seen a lot of fours that are worse. Because I th I think we've got pretty small chances of winning anyway. Yeah, low missionary does forgive many sins. We just keep drawing Tron lands. So if I would have bottomed it, <laughs> would have drawn a tower anyway. But there'd be something maybe a little more exciting than uh, nothing under the tower. <laughs> Thank you so much. What's up, Brazil? How you guys doing? How's Brazil? Plays a land, plays Marauders. So we need a white source here pretty desperately. Hydroblast is not a white source. Pass the turn. And Kelden Marauder is going to vanish away. Hit us for three. Mold of fives, FTLs. <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? Maybe there's a, Maybe there's a way. Maybe there's a line here. So we're going to go to 10, and curse, sure, 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 colored mana, please, silver plates, come on, come on, colored mana, coalition honor guard, we're probably dead, play Tron land, pass turn, <laughs> I needed those hugs tonight, thank you very much, Coru Jets, <laughs> it's been bumpy, man, it's been bumpy. All right, pass it over. There goes Kelvin Marauders. And we take another one. We're at eight. So if our opponent has, like, two burn spells, Fire Blast, we're dead. Dead, dead, dead. Cool deck, though. Yeah, it's not too bad, eh? It's pretty bad, but I'm telling you, man, it tested pretty good. <laughs> it tested not completely terribly. Um, but, yeah, we're probably just dead. They took us off Tron, too, just for the bad beats. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Corey Jets. Thanks. Yeah, we have our whole sideboard in our hand <laughs> and no colored mana to cast them. So that'll be it. We'll pass it back one more time, and our opponent will spell our demise. That last game was close, too. Really wish we could have got there. They were at two. I don't know if there are any turns where... I think I waited. I think I sandbagged the... Uh... Sandbagged the flyer. But anyway... That's it. There we go. Possibly popper playable for this week. <laughs>